Hi guys, welcome to the Fourth Moment Weekly Roundup, where you get your weekly dose of local football action here at Cape Town. And with me as usual is Andrew Paquino. Andrew, how's it? Okay, and you, Shamil? All right, uh, you're looking smart in your new kit there, Andrew. Yeah, thank you. Thanks to Loris, our kit apparel sponsor, for giving us some wonderful gear for the week. Yeah. Um, so we're looking smart, yeah. Look, guys, like I told you last week, we've got some new fourth apparel kit coming out this week, and here it is, and it will be available if you want it on our website and Facebook uh, app also. Right, you might be wondering where we are. Today we are at the uh, Cape District or Inter LFA uh, tournament at, U at William Herbert, yeah. um, where this is now the first morning. Today's Thursday, first morning of games that's taken place. Some of the LFAs represented here is uh, Northern's LFA, uh, NAFA, East London, Soul Plaches, and yeah, that looks like it then, obviously, Cape District. How's the morning been so far, Andrew? It's been very good. I thought uh, the standard of football has been very high. Uh, the weather has sort of played along and stayed nice and cool today for the, for the players. Um, our Cape District under-18 team won both their games. Our under-16 team won one game and drew the other. Under-14 team, unfortunately, lost their first game, but they won their second game. Mm. So all the teams doing very well. Yeah. And uh, as expected, obviously, Northern's LFA giving uh, quite a tough uh, opposition sure. here out of all the LFAs. Some of the other LFAs to look at here okay. is uh, East London doing well. And then also uh, Soul Plage is looking uh, like well, some big boys there, like yes, you said. Sure, those big boys. I don't know what to feed them there in Soul Plage, <laughs> but they're big boys, eh? Yeah. Right, so let's get not much LFA action, uh, obviously, for us to go through because a lot of the um, representatives have been sorted out. Yeah. Uh, Cape District, uh, it's probably the last week we're doing My them. favourite LFA. Favourite LFA, we've been stopped quite a bit by the uh, Cafeter fans here. Um, but yeah, just looking at the results there so far, or last week at Cape District, Clearwood losing 2-1 uh, to RC Atletico. FC Kefter winning 1-0 uh, against South End. Uh, Greenwood Athletic uh, beating Grossi Park 3-2 and that secures Greenwood's status. And then obviously you also know what it means for the top two. And then uh, Ocean View losing 4-3 to Montague Spurs. Wesley uh, winning 5-0 against Salt River. Batsu drawing one over with Steffs. And Blue Belts losing 2-0 wow. against Southampton. So Andrew, you already know what's happening? Yes, I do. I'm waiting for it to be formally announced. Winner of the Cape District FA, LFA is FC Kefta going to the playoffs. And I had a chat to one of the executive members earlier on and uh, he says they prepared, they still have their team together. They are very excited about uh, the playoffs no. and going to achieve their goal. I'm very excited my prediction came, came true here. Uh, <laughs> congratulations to Kefta. I uh, hope you guys uh, represent uh, the LFA very well in the playoffs. And I'm, I'm rooting for you guys to get through and let's see. Yeah. I'll be there and you know supporting Kefta. And uh, I even got stopped at the Weinberg St. John's under 10 tournament by Kefta supporters telling me that they won the league. So I was I was quite excited. But yeah, like I said, I'm neutral. Yeah. But you know, I'm glad in, uh, that Kefta you know, secured the spot. And yeah, it's going to be a very tough playoff, yeah. Shamil. Yeah, uh, definitely. The top teams there, it's going to be very nice. Yeah, look, uh, like I said, I spoke to uh, Nathan Kritziger, the, the, I think he's uh, one of the executive members there at uh, Kefta. And he's, okay. they, they're ready for it. They're prepared. Um, they're excited about it. And obviously looking to take that step. So yeah, FC Kefta winning the league at Cape District. Then uh, Grossi Park, obviously, in second place. Third, Southampton at the moment. And Salt River ending in fourth. Yeah, still some games to take place, but I think the league is basically done and dusted. Sure, you know, it's, it's, we're now getting to that stage now where everybody's preparing for playoffs. Yeah. So, you know, we wish all the teams well. That's all we can say. And, you know, it's three weeks away. So uh, all the preparations will now be in place for everybody. Yeah. Okay, so who do you have there? Well, I want to go through um, some Goldberg Cup okay. uh, that's coming up this weekend. Uh, Goldberg Cup has now reached the final stages. It's going to be at Hout Bay. It's going to be held at Hout Bay. And as we know, we, we said it before, we'll say it again, that uh, Cape Town Spurs are well represented there. Yeah. Um, they've done exceptionally well uh, to get their teams in. Um, so that's going to be held at in Hout Bay and it's under 13s, 15s, 17s and 19s. So we ask everybody to please be out there Is that the and support at the, them. Is that the at the turf? The, the one at the turf. So the one, down, okay. that one, Opposite the, the one. police station. Correct. Yeah. So okay. please get out there. First games are, are out there at 11 o'clock. So please everybody get down there on Sunday. Okay. You want to go through the fixtures or no? No, we can, we can move on. Okay, right. So, um, like I said, not much LFA action, but obviously the start of the ABC Mutsepi League has started in terms of the Nedbank Cup and there's been some games over the past weekend. We're going to run through some of that results quickly. Um, Ubuntu, yeah, drawing one over City Kings, uh, but City Kings getting the better over there in the penalty shootout, so City Kings going through. Yeah. Uh, Battalion FC 3, Grossi Park United 2. Sure. They had a chat to Coach Shakes there and he said, oh, that's so many chances, but you know, you know, it doesn't go in. So yeah, it was one of those days for them. And then uh, Zizwe United showing their uh, power, they're beating Royal Blues 4-1. 
And then uh, the last game on Saturday, that was an over Park FC, uh, losing 1-0 to Hout Bay. Mm. Wanna give us some action on that, uh, what happened in that match? The result says it all. No, congratulations no to Hout Bay. No, they played. <laughs> Listen, it was a very tight affair. I think we, we had the better of exchanges uh, for most of the game, I thought. Mm. We created a lot of chances, we just didn't capitalise, and it's cup football. Yeah. You know, Hout Bay scored a goal uh, late in the second half. And you know, they, they defended very well and they got the results, so good luck to them. Um, but yes, there were a lot of games on Saturday, very tight. Yeah. Uh, this ABC League this season is going to be very, very tight. I think it's going to be exciting games and I think the teams are well set up this year um, and the quality of football will be very high. I was going to ask you to take a bit of advantage of having you here. This is now your first ABC Mutsepe and your team's first ABC Mutsepe mm. match in the league. What was the... There must have been some sort of anxiety. How was the... How did the boys handle the pressure? What did the boys, the boys that brought you into the league, what did they, how was their feeling about the match? How did they perform? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, it was difficult because um, my starting lineup, you know, I had nine new players in my starting lineup. Mm. Um, and I think, you know, from my perspective, I was excited. I don't think I was nervous uh, as, okay. as the coach. I was excited to see how we compared against one of the top teams yeah. last season, the ABC. Yeah. Um, and I thought we actually held our own, which is good. Okay. Um, you know, it, it gives me a fair idea of, of where we can improve on yeah. and things and things to work on over the next four weeks. But um, you know, I'm very excited. You know, and Hout Bay, a very nice team. Yeah. They were missing, you know, two or three key players. Um, okay. But you know, their goalkeeper Tashvik Morgan had an outstanding game. Okay. Um, he yeah. pulled off three or four outstanding saves mm. in the game. And yeah, listen, I'm excited for the season. And yeah, you know, okay. listen. You know, Hanover Park will always compete. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> okay, now it's good to hear. Then, Sunday's fixtures, there we had Young Bafana and Martis. You new boys, Young Bafana, drawing 0 no, no, but yeah. Martis getting through on penalties. Sure. And then Clearwood uh, FC beating Santos narrowly 1 0. No. FN Rangers beating Wanderers 2 1. Good outing, and that was after extra time, so good sure. outing there by uh, Wanderers holding yeah. FN Rangers 1 0 till the end. And then uh, Ikapa United beating new boys Ukanya uh, 2 1. So yeah, that was the Netback Cup, and then obviously when did the next round of fixtures take place, uh, Andrew, do you know, for the uh, The next round of fixtures are this Netback? weekend, Shamil. Next week, okay. Uh, this weekend, okay. Um, I can give you the fixtures. Okay. Um, Hout Bay United will be at home against Zizwe on Saturday at 3pm. Actually, all games are on Saturday at 3pm. So it's Hout Bay United versus Zizwe at the Hout Bay Sports Complex. Uh, Battalions will be playing City Kings at Umbaqueni Sports Grounds. Martis versus FN Rangers. Uh, they were in the same stream last yeah, year, so it'll be interesting yeah, to see. That, uh, <laughs> and that's going to be at Lentilis. Okay. And then uh, Clearwood against Ikapa Sporting. That game is actually going to be held at Edgebeat Sports Ground. It's also going to be a tough game. Uh, Saturday at 3 o'clock. Yeah. So Ikapa, Coach Mike, yeah. up against uh, Coach Ashley. Ash. Ash. So Ashraf. Ashraf, sorry. Yeah. Against Coach Ashraf. Yeah. So it should be a tight game. Two well disciplined teams there. Yeah. Okay, we're we'll moving on. Yeah, let's move on. What have you got for us? Well, I wanted to chat about our Super Cup. I mm. thought, you know, to spend some time on our Super Cup, it's here, going to be held here at yeah, William Herbert, Herbert yeah. you know, where we are at the moment. Yeah. And, um, you know, the teams have all submitted their applications, so yeah. things are looking good from our side. Yeah. And, uh, Shamil, do you want to just shed some light again on the dates and, and Yeah, obviously, it's 12th to, th yeah, 12, 30 November. At the moment, uh, we're looking at 20 teams. Uh, all the winners go through in the group, and then we have uh, just the finals on the Sunday. So yeah, look, like we said, all the, the teams have been sorted. Uh, like I said last time, it's just about crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. Yes. Once all that is sorted, we'll start sharing the, the news and who's involved in the tournament. But yeah, we're looking forward to um, having hosting a good tournament at this Fantastic venue, and obviously with good officiating taking place, also, yeah. Yeah, and we also got to we also got to give a shout out to uh, Dangerous Heroes. Um, they won the Cecil yeah, League, Cecil, yeah. uh, so they're going to be representing our region in the Hollywood Bets playoffs. Mm. So we wish uh, Coach Bayanda Sakiti and his team all the best. Mm. I think it's going to be another representative of ours. Remember Vasco last year yes. beat Dangerous Heroes in the playoff final, yeah. and then Vasco actually made it through. So we're hoping that Dangerous Heroes can fly also our flag high there. Yeah. So we can have another team into yeah. that Hollywood Bets League. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, guys, and I think uh, that's about it from us for that's, today. Very that's short it. show. Very short show. Outside here at William Herbert. Um, like we always have to say, we've got to say thanks to Laura Sport. And if you missed the, the, all the, the hits on uh, social media, Laura Sport is changing the name to Vecchio. Okay. So there's a change coming uh, end of the year. So be sure to look out for, instead of the L, now the V. But I'm sure um, the guys at Laura Sport will send more information to us and uh, videos and so on about it. Yeah, so quite exciting stuff happening at Lotus sure. there. So we're going to say big ups to Lotus. Thanks for that. And uh, yeah, until next time, that's me, Shamil. That's, yeah, and please, if you're at, at William Herbert or around William Herbert yeah. on the weekend, please pop in Saturday, the finals, the semifinals and finals here. 
uh, for under four, under 12s, 14s, 16s and 18s. So please pop in. And yeah, at the end of the day, you know, have a good football weekend. I know some of the leagues are having cup finals. Cape Town Tigerberg having cup finals this weekend. You know, we got the Rygate Cups tournament that's going on. Yeah. You know, there's huge crowds. Under 10 at Weinberg St. John's finishes this Friday. So please, yeah, let's go out and support the youth out there and the minis. And from our side, you know, have a great time and see you next week. Sorry, before we go, we're saying mm. bye too early here. Yeah? There's a lot of things to discuss. Green smile under 21, well done to Silver Spurs. Oh, yes. The NG Orient at Silver Spurs in the final there. Well done to Spurs and the boys there. Spurs, Silver Spurs for winning the Green Smile under 21. And well done to the LOC for putting a good tournament together. Is that our final goodbye? That's our final goodbye. Sim, you love you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>